I really like the space bar, oddly enough. I think we have some free range to do what we want here other than we're gonna do a stack mount, okay. No PE foam? Oh, Alpha, is it your build? Wait, did you say use it in this? I'm reading your initial additional notes. No PE, okay. And Alpha, we wanna use the, the Rama Wilba packaging thingy over here, right? This PCB? I changed my mind? Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Some of the stuff I've actually never seen. Is this from, uh... oh, I think I know where this is from. Okay, cool. It's an extra PCB. We're not using this one here though. I think the um, Wilba PCB though has RGB on it, while the Mode PCB does not. Oh, they're both Rama PCBs? Oh, you package that so nicely. And we are looking good for this. I like this color of PCB. This is nice. I like uh, Wilba's choices of colors for these things. Very pretty. Um, Alpha, I think because it's a brass plate, I kind of think it'll sound better with the mid plate foam. Luckily it's hot swap, so if it ends up sounding too muffled, we can just take it off after stream. Um, but I, I, I do think, maybe chat can help out too. I do think that because it's a brass plate, um, I think this will be better with it. Oh God, that is a shiny plate. Wow, so shiny. Very cool. Very, very cool. You could blend someone with that light if it hits right. Yeah, I could definitely flash you, interesting. I did do some test fittings with this earlier because I did notice with these switches, they didn't, they didn't seem to play nice with films all that well. Uh, I got that plate and never used it. I didn't know what it uh, what I liked, so I bought a bunch of shit from my Mode 65. I don't blame you though. Sometimes it's hard to tell what you're gonna like with keyboards. I'm an avid alu enjoyer. I am also an avid aluminum enjoyer. Alu is too good. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a bit tight to work with. We're gonna try our best here. Lick it? No, 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 Alpha, uh, no. You're so kind to take last minute requests, most people wouldn't. Ah, it's their keyboards, man. They're paying, like they paid a lot, they waited a lot. I'm totally in the understanding of it. Cool though, this looks pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Oh, I see a fingerprint right there. Whoopsie. Pretty nice. I don't know what everyone is with licking keyboards, to be honest. I don't know why that's becoming a thing lately. Yeah, this is shiny. I'm actually, I actually really want to plug this in right now. It'd be an honor if you licked my keyboard. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, okay, let's get the top case and bottom case. We still have to assemble this guy. Top case, what is a top case? A polycar? Ooh. Very cool. I don't know what the hell this bottom case is, but it's super heavy. This is a brass bottom? Thank you, Nev. Appreciate your tier one, bro. Jeez, Alpha is balling out with the brass on this, man. Alpha, does it work with this daughter board? Is this, is this a Wilbo? Okay, this is the right daughter board. Want to make sure. Okay, this is gonna look pretty sweet, I think. Did you cut this, Alpha? Wait, Alpha, you cut this, right? This didn't come like destroyed? I'm assuming you cut this because it's like a different area where the, the port is. Interesting. Very interesting. And we're doing stack mount, right? We're not doing uh, top mount. Uh, you may have to cut it more if it doesn't fit. No, we will, we'll get it to work. There's little tips and tricks we can do. We'll do stack mount here, I'm assuming. Might be a little tricky to get this in, guys, so bear with me. This is not standard. But we should do it on the top piece of the case here. Uh, stack mount with his board is what most crew use. It's nice. Stack mount's nice with the mode 65. Also, can I just point this out? It's really nice to see mode actually use threaded inserts on their polycarbonate. Just, just FYI. Can we just get some appreciation for that? Yeah, Omnitype is spoiling us today, dude. 
big appreciation for the uh, threaded inserts here. Yeah, anyone who's doing polycarbonate, take note, please. Okay, so the tricky part about this now is we're gonna have to do some, some witchcraft here with getting this in. That looks good, the wire looks perfect there. And then let's, I tend to flip this. I just don't want to unalign things here. So we're gonna do this very carefully. I think I just got it to fit right there. And let's screw this guy in. Oh gosh, what screws is it? Uh, at least we know it fits. Perfect fit though. Beautiful, beautiful. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder what this is gonna sound like. You know, I have a weird feeling this is gonna sound pretty good still. I'm a little curious about the brass plate. I don't think I've built a mode 65 with a brass plate yet. So this should be interesting. Again, the reason why it's a little bit more delicate this time around guys, simply because we're not using the proper PCB. So they were not using the right PCB here in case you guys were wondering, that's why it's a little bit weird to close. Like right there. And we are good. <laughs> uh, different PCB, because this one here has RGB on it. Because it's the silver ones? Ah, okay. All the same size, but... The mini black ones for the daughter board? Oh. Ooh, mirror black. But there are so many good sets in general on the market right now that it's hard to just say one's... Well, it's like a glove. Perfect. Should be an interesting build here. This looks really cool, actually. Again, we're using some 8008 just to give some love to Mr. Omnitype here. Alpha, what set are you putting on this again? Like when you get this build back? Future Funk? Oh, that would look really nice. Hydrate? Thanks, dudes. Appreciate you. This looks really good, actually. Okay, let's plug this in. This would actually look so cool with a uh, clear keycap set, I think. I've never seen like an RGB mode. This is kind of cool. Not really from the top down. I don't really love like the light in between everything, but the sides are so cool. So this was using a Wilba PCB meant for the M65B. I kind of like this though. Like if I had to use this, I'd probably leave the RGB on. I want to see what this looks like. Yeah, like I kind of think this is neat. Again, I don't know if I love the top down here and I think clear keycaps would be super sweet on this because it takes away a little bit from the keycaps, but this is kind of cool. Honestly though, I can tell you this alpha, I can already tell. I think this with plate foam is the way to go. I think if this didn't have plate foam, this would be like really metal, yeah. I really like the space bar, oddly enough. Yeah, this sounds really good with the brass plate. I don't think this sounds like foam at all. I hear the characteristics of the switch because this is legitimately how they were sounding when I was testing them. And the space bar is really nice. Uh, you know, I will say though, the Gatoron, there we go. The Gatoron uh, pins are definitely not as fragile. I don't know if Alpha's willing to change his like ideology for keycaps. Clear keycaps would be so cool on this. They would, they would be super, super neat. But dude, 8008 looks so good on Polycarb. It does. The bottom's uh, brass. Eight, you might get a set of 8008. Dude, do it, man. It looks really good. I, I really like 8008 on Polycarp. It looks really good. Do you like the way it turned out? Like just the way it is right now? I'll do some more, obviously I'm gonna do some more experimenting, see if I can get the sound like even better. But hopefully you like the way it turned out. I think it's turned out awesome, dude. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace out, everybody. Love you, bye.
I don't think this sounds like foam at all. 